Sports is in the Steel City at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, PA. This was the scene just a few moments ago as the Pittsburgh faithful were fired up by the hometown Steelers taking the field. They're all set as they'll match up with the Chicago Bears. Here we go from Heinz Field. Yo, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? Back again with another video. Alright, I'm facing the Steelers today. As promised, I'm trying to record every single game I play online. Win or loss. And if I get losses, I'll post the losses like I did uh, with the what game that I lose against. When a couple of videos back I lost in there. Like I'm I'm posting I'm trying to post everything, but it's gonna be a like a lot of videos. But you know, I've kind of been on a win streak, so anything I get, I just throw up. And I usually post my record at the end of the video, so I'm finally ranked after all the disconnect losses that killed my uh, my record in the initial start. I turned things around, and uh, I'm finally ranked. So once you want I'm ranked now, then just wait till the end of the video and the display for itself. So you can check it out. So this guy on uh, on defense, he was using on the line. He was all over the place. He was to the right. He was with Watt Jr. Like he was everywhere. So, and he was playing a lot of man defense, the initial parts, and he was kind of throwing me off. You know what though? I think they, they, they um, he did some type of tune into the game, but they, they didn't tell anybody. They didn't let anybody know. Like you can play cover two now on next gen. So, if you haven't played it before. You can start using it because people are using it now, and I'm seeing that it's covering way better than it did initially. Hey, this is one of the rushes here I'm talking about. Look at this bull rush. Like, there's like no time to throw the ball. <laughs> that thing is crazy, man. Most, I, you can really, really find tough games for people that use a rush. You see, I double team them there, so you can't get out the double team. Now, I, I kind of like that's how double teams are supposed to work. If you want to fight out of, you know. Single animation here, there he goes again. I let him go once, and he bull rushes again, so I got that double teaming him. And you're gonna see later on in the game, I start double teaming, and he switched to the other side because he couldn't get around the, the double team block. That sort of completely destroys your ability to throw the ball. It's like that, almost barely didn't even get that screen off. So I'm in the red zone. I put some points up. He goes again. Hey, they need to do something about that. Cause that's kind of ridiculous. That's worse than it was last year with the uh, two roll, whatever pass rush. Hey, you can't do that every single down. Like, come on, man. You can do it every so often, but every down. But one, one thing I found that does stop it is just double teaming. Uh, just double teaming the edge guy. I probably could have picked this off, but I was so like, it's Juju, so I didn't want to risk it, so I just went in and just swatted it down. If the fight or not, down. But like if you do finally get into a game and the game is fun. Another thing I did realize some people still don't know about not picking custom playbooks. They're still picking custom playbooks and they're still getting like you know to disconnect stuff and getting losses because of it. And still that video I made about over a week ago now is still getting traction. I'm like wow. It's like approaching a thousand views already. I'm like the so I put the fix in there. If you still run to that issue, if this is your first time seeing this video, do not use custom playbooks. The EA says you can use custom playbooks. On the PS4 version, I don't think they're having this issue. It's just on the PS5 that this issue exists, I think. So that needs to be addressed. So right now I'm still using Maggie's offense and defense uh, playbook. So you have to use uh, stock playbooks that come with the game with the teams. Oh, you're gonna get disconnect. You're gonna get disconnect. So yeah, man, his uh, main target is uh, Ebron. That guy probably had about like eight catches this game, and he was quick snapping me too. So I, it was hard for me to really adjust. So most of the game, I played stock palms, unless I saw him in the three by one with the tight end to the far right. Then I'll play palms, but then I'll put my far cornerback. In the cloud, because you know the crosser rod's coming across. So, 
All right, man. I'm trying to see if I can get some points before halftime here. There goes the rush again. That thing is, man. So just start double teaming him now. Double team on him. Just so I can at least get the ball off field. Just give me time to get the ball off field. And I think somebody said in one of the videos, like, how come I never rush with fields? I do. You're going to see some rushing in this game. You just I just pick my spots when I decide to take off, and I, you don't always have to take off all the time. But I'll find the spots that I need to take off, and then you see me take off running. Now it's fields. Like, there's nobody here. I right, go, I'm off. I'm saying, I said that yesterday. It's like you don't have to throw the ball field. Just take your yards and get out of bounds. It's a yard, and it's a yard. If it's back to the line of scrimmage, it's back to the line of scrimmage. I'll take what you give me. If you give me a little bit, I'll take a little bit. If you give me a lot, I'll take a lot. Don't wait. We have to find another down. I take the field goal, right? It's only five seconds left. Nothing much I can do except for risking the turnover. Alright. Beginning the third quarter. Still a close game. Still a close game. It's all a chess match, man. You try to find the weaknesses in each other, and then once you find it, you just go to town. And right now, he's really, you know, I'm, I'm stopping the run for the most part, but it's tight end 85. Yeah, he's going to work. So now I'm starting to key it on 85, wherever he's at, and I'm just trying to just shatter him at least. That way he doesn't go off on me anymore, like he did the first half. Yeah, right here. I just put my corner. I got to follow this guy right here across the field. Oh! -oh! Every time he threw that pass, man, I was ready with the hit stick. Alright, and if I miss, oh, that's a touchdown, of course. Yeah, I see Ebron again. Ah, he beat me. See that false step I took to the inside? I couldn't recover. So, I mean, I like this kind of type of stuff. I'm not supposed to be a superman on the field as a user, so if you make a mistake, you know, you pay for it. Second and ten. Put everything on them 85. Throw somewhere else, but then he gets me with the jet. And he's able to get outside. For huge gains. Back and forth over here with the Wildcat. Bring him down. Uh-uh. Third and five. And he'll take his play of the drive. Third and six. Crossers. The post. Ah, oh, I forgot to set that guy on the cloud. That's how I usually pick those off. But I just went straight stock on that one. When I saw this formation, I already knew it was going to be a slant coming. So I'm just waiting for the slant. Put some guys in the zones and just wait for the slant. Throws the slant. Take it. Alright, man. I got to get in the end zone. Come on, offense. It's a lot of man defense right here. Tracks me down. Second and 12. I'm trying to block for this guy. He comes keeps coming off the edge on a bull rush. There he goes. Just double teamed him again. I know he's in cover three right here. Getting the hole of the cover three for first down. Oh, 30 inches. Oh, one thing that's also I noticed too, the run stoppers aren't as vicious as long as you double team them when you run plays. If you double team the run stoppers and the run plays, you can kind of effectively hold them at bay. So right here, he's playing man bump again. And this would have really got me last year, especially on like on a big down, like it's a second down. So just double team and create the blockers so I can get the ball off field. And we're going to challenge this one on one right here. Got to make him pay, man. You got to make him pay. And because I'm not doing it all game, it kind of hits you as a, as a surprise. Like, where did he pull that one out of? Yeah. I'm coaching uh, cover one, cover one uh, defense. Trying to go for two here. I See, pick up something that I picked up right here. On this play right here, he's going to put everybody in coverage. Everybody in coverage. All right. Next time I'm down here, you're going to see what I do. Because he did that right there. 
So you pick off something small in detail of your defense and then you apply it later on during the game when you're in that same situation again. And that's just something I caught, right? So I'm going to show you what happens to his defense later when I'm down here in the red zone. When it's a big stop for him and then, you know, he messes up. So I'm still keen on the, uh, the tight end. He always comes across the field and he does it again. Uh -uh. That's a blind throw right there. You got to see me right stand right there. Alright, all you gotta do is just get some points, man. Let's get some points. Make it a two possession game. Make this thing really interesting. Try to throw deep again, but he's playing over the top coverage this time. Get him over the top. It's so crazy, it's like Goodwin's kind of taking over, like, uh, so I mean, I'm, there you go, I'm running. I'm running. I'll take off when I need to. Uh, Goodwin is taking over. <laughs> uh, Moody's spot seems like it's more pass control to than anything, but I mean, it's still good to have him on there if I need it. Uh, I'll go to him when needed. Same jets where he got me earlier. <laughs> Celebrate out of bounds. I remember I told you next time I come down here, what, what was I gonna do? Cause he's playing exact same defense. Watch what happens to all his linemen. Look at this. Look at all of them on the floor. You punch in the face. Put them on in coverage. That's what's gonna happen. So now I got my two possession lead, and now I just need to just make him drive upfield. No big plays. Uh uh. Boom! No big plays upfield. I need you to drive. That's a good play. Run. Run. That's on third down too. Fourth and one. Somebody needs to overcommit. He's gonna run the ball, sneak or whatever, but let the clock run. That's all I care about. He goes try to throw that same play again, not this time, at the cloud this time. Remember he scored a touchdown on that? Small details, man. You gotta kinda see when he comes back again, you gotta, you gotta make him pay. <laughs> Alright man, let me show you what my record is, man. I'm finally ranked. I'm finally ranked. I'm finally ranked. I'm on the thousand, I'm finally ranked, man. Alright guys, man, if you're new to the channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me one time. Bang! Until next time, fellas. I'll holler at you dudes later. I won.